I'm Insomniac, and this is another coffee I'm not going to pronounce right. He's an idiot. Zoka Coffee Nicaragua Lemoncello. Okay, so here we are with the third coffee in this bean box here. Out of, I believe, 16, moving right along. The description for this one says, even the dark roast lovers among our team love this Pacamara coffee. Fruity without being tart, like morning sunlight lattice through window blinds, this tropical brew lives up to its lick your lips moniker. Keep it mellow, Lemoncello. Anyway, let's take a look at the beans. This is a whole bean. Everything in the bean box is a whole bean coffee for you to grind fresh. Nice looking roast. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that clearly on camera, but uh, definitely a nice looking light roast coffee. Mmm. First aroma out of the bag is grenadine syrup. This is grenadine. Yeah. Then a bright woody aroma, maybe a pine. Just a big mix of light sweet aromas. I like that. Uh, let's grind some of this up and see what it smells like brewed. Okay, so we brewed some of this up. Let's see what it smells like. Warm Fig Newtons. Certainly like that. It's a ton of syrupy sweetness. There we go. A good amount of moist earth. Kind of reminds me of like soft ground after it rains. And then a tiny hint of vanilla. So an interesting mix of aromas there. Let's see what it tastes like. Well, interestingly enough, it tastes a lot more like tea than it does coffee. Kind of like a freshly brewed fruity black tea. Then it has some dark fruit flavors, but with really no sweetness to them. So imagine blueberry and blackberry uh, if you were to delete the sweetness uh, that they come with naturally. And then at the very end of the sip, there's almost a kind of little bit of sour. Now, don't take that for bitterness. There's no bitterness here at all. You get this kind of really quick uh, little sour taste that kind of reminds you of the sour taste that you get when you eat pomegranate seeds. No pomegranates! Has a really, really nice, moist, quick finish. What I mean by quick finish is that almost nothing lingers after about four or five seconds. The palate's clean and it's ready for the next sip, so there's really no uh, kind of thickness to it. Now, the only minus to that, I don't mind a quick finish, that's for sure. But part of the reason why I think the finish is so short and so easy on this is because it's also similar to tea. Let the tea let its hair down. Or uh, more so similar to tea than it is coffee, in my opinion, in the fact that the body of this is kind of thin. It's not kind of thick and robust like a lot of coffees that you drink. It's more enjoyable and smooth, but kind of light on the flavors like a tea would be. So really nice aromas, very enjoyable flavors, but you don't get as much of them as I think you should uh, for a coffee. And I used an AeroPress, so I mean a pretty concentrated ratio of uh, coffee to water. So it's not the brewing process. Eh, anyway, like I said, very good coffee, just I would like a little bit more body from it. On a scale from 1 to 10 Mike Tysons, 7 Mike Tysons. If you enjoyed this review, leave a comment, hit the thumbs up, all of that good stuff. I have tons more coming soon. Share this channel with other coffee lovers. They might be interested in it. Maybe they could find some new coffees that they like watching some of these videos. If you want to support the channel, it would be a big help if you go to the link at the top of the video description down below. Sign up at the Patreon page. You get a lot of cool rewards, including a monthly giveaway, which does include coffee. And I have a whole cabinet full of coffees that still need to be reviewed, plus 13 more coffees in the bean box, all coming up soon. So stay tuned. I'll see you at the next one.